Hey there, Wondering Watchers. I'm Sony Golden for The Vibe is Golden. Welcome to the special titillating edition of Tabloid Tarot, which unveils celebrity secrets and love, dating, and super coupling that are bound to hit the tabloids. In today's titillating tabloid tarot, we're taking a peek at a Brazilian model whose fairy tale marriage to an all-American quarterback ended in divorce. We are tossing Giselle Bunchen's relationship with Tom Brady into the spotlight to be tabloid tarot. So let's see what sensational headline we have for Giselle and Tom. We have trickery with this fairy. We have soul connection, strength, positive, and reconciliation. Interesting. So here it kind of indicates that there is going to be uh, some type of reconciliation these rose-colored glasses, um, the soul connection, the strength, kind of indicates that there is this um, ongoing love um, that is pulling them together. Even in this kind of card, it looks like this power is pulling these people together. Um, this trickery is interesting to see what that's about. Um, you know, perhaps there was someone involved um, in their breakup or there is something that was um, misunderstood. So we'll get into that. Let's explore the titillating tidbits of this particular love story. So let's take a look at Giselle's feelings about the relationship with Tom. You have two of swords. So it could be that she's kind of tricking herself because you've got this blindfold here. So there's something that she is not seeing about the relationship. She's kind of thinking about all of the things that happen, facts that she knows, um, but there's something she's not seeing and there's you know, maybe something that she needs to make a decision about, but just isn't. I'm going to clarify that. You have the Seven of Cups. So this, again, is um, kind of a card of trickery to an extent that some maybe hopes or fears that she has are just illusions. Um, and that's kind of... Um, prompting her to be in this uh, situation where she can't really see what's in front of her that's real. Um, let's see Tom's current feelings towards the relationship. You have this lover's card. So there's definitely um, a connection that he still feels. He feels that this is someone that he wants to have long-term life changes with, long-term commitment with. Um, so let's see what the strongest aspect of the relationship is or was. You have the emperor here. So this is kind of like masculine uh, power being like the ruler, um, you know, it seems like it's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but it is kind of reminding me of that strength aspect. So maybe they were both very strong. They both had issues, not issues, but they both felt that there was um, maybe when it comes to being like the master of the house, there was an issue with that like their feelings um like that was the strongest things that either pulled them together or pulled them apart um especially if tom preferred to be like the 
emperor on the field versus the emperor at home. So I'm going to clarify this emperor card here. You have the two of wands. So this is about really being in a place and looking out, um, trying to get outside of what you already know. So I think, you know, the, the strongest aspect of their relationship may have, it seems it has to do with um, where, where Tom wanted to put most of his attention, whether it was at home or on the field. So it's like with, if he was at the master at home um, or if he was, you know, being the father at home, he was constantly looking towards sports and yearning for that. So let's see um, what did not work for Giselle about the relationship. You have the Ten of Wands. Um, so I feel like Giselle was just carrying the load when it comes to the relationship and that, you know, she is a strong woman. She took on that load. She moved where, you know, Tom wanted to be. Um, and this rocket in the background kind of looks like a, it's like a phallic symbol to me. So it's like she was willing to carry the load so that Tom could feel like he was the emperor at home and on the field. Um, so let's see what Giselle was willing to do to make it work. You have Eight of Cups. So, you know, leaving where she possibly wanted to be, um, moving wherever Tom needed to go to play to play football. Um, so maybe even leaving... Uh, the lifestyle that she had being a mother is a lot different than being you know a su supermodel so let's take a look at what did not work for Tom in the relationship you have ten of cups so I think the focus on the family, it's not that he didn't care about the family, but the focus on the family and being there for all the ups and downs, that did not work for Tom. So let's see what he was willing to do to make it work. You have the nine of wands. So he was willing to put in a lot of uh, energy, you know, trying to be there where you know, he was wanted, maybe feeling a little bit um, torn down in terms of his energy, you know, with this two of wands, focusing his attention um, on, you know, somewhere else, being somewhere else, doing something else. Let's take a look at the external factors that most impacted the relationship or even still does. King of Pentacles. So money. This is making me think of that FTX um, company that they had hugely, I think, invested in. I believe Tom has over a million. Um, I think it's called, is it called Common Shares? And Giselle has about almost 700,000 common shares of that FTX um, cryptocurrency, I think, exchange company or trading company that is just like um, lost billions of dollars. So in terms of how much their shares equate to in money, it's not clear, but it could be that the impact of that um, on their finances kind of started bringing things to light so I'm gonna see about the next step in this relationship kind of, it seems like they'll get back together but let's see what happens in the meantime you have this chariot and that is interesting because the chariot this is the major arcana card 
for the sign of cancer. Cancer is, um, you know, the crab that carries its home on its back. It's really about, it's, there is a big focus on home. And so here it seems like they're going to be kind of dealing with some external forces, but possibly moving towards um, a focus of home. I'm going to clarify that. You do have the Page of Wands. And that's like a card of like flirtations, expressions, good news. So it seems like there is going to be some kind of you know, steps towards something, but it's making me think it's it's going to be baby steps towards a reconciliation, and it's going to be them exploring them, you know, on their own a little bit. But it will. It seems like because of this soul connection, uh, it's going to bring them closer together, and it'll be interesting to see what it is that um, kind of Giselle finds out about the situation to make her decide and have clear ideas of what's actually going on between them. So thanks for watching this special titillating edition of Tabloid Tarot. We'll see you next time. Take care.